something from, from Mundukula, sending a concert or an interview or something inspiring that happens at Mundukula in a way to show that we're, we're alive, but also to, to inspire people out there. Uh, and tonight, my intention is to sing um, some of my songs uh, that I've written over the years, and specifically the songs that I wrote during my hermit years when I first moved here before we started the retreat center back in 1999. Uh, because I also think that um, these times that we're living in, we really need to go inwards. We need to find the hermit within. We need to uh, ask ourselves, how can I learn, gain, grow from this? It's very easy to have opinions about uh, what happens in the world and whose fault it is and, uh, and uh, um, find someone out there to, to kind of blame for what's happening. Mundico has suffered a lot this year, but although I'd like to use this challenge as every challenge in my life and I think whatever challenges we go through to actually use it as as uh, something meaningful uh, and because we probably need to close down quite a lot during the winter now uh, I will go back to my hermit hood <laughs> in January and February and actually uh, rest relax go inwards and uh, um, find my energy within so therefore, I'd like to sing some songs tonight, uh, some prayers, some uh, songs to, to inspire and also to maybe sing along to, but also to um, maybe relate to and um, lean back. And One song that I wrote very, very early when I was sitting here in my hermit years is a song called Oh Lord. And it's kind of like a wish, it's like a prayer that... Um, to find the peace within, but also to reach out and, and ask for help when needed, uh, but not to not to look for someone to blame. The sleepless nights, so many thoughts on my mind. There's a few these days with peace inside I drift away to a place in my dreams Where people live in love and peace oh, remain Oh Lord give us a helping hand Please help us understand Time has come to find peace in our hearts Stand together, let's make a new start and See the light Let our heart be our church We can make a heaven here on earth oh, Oh Lord, bring us your light Oh Lord, help to guide us home We can make it on our own On our own Oh Lord, help people to love Oh Lord, we need to serve 
O Lord, may the road be bright. Please help us through the night, through the night, Lord. It's actually the first time I sang this song live. It's kind of a bit, um, I'm a bit curious myself to sit here and do this live recording and not knowing what's, what's going to happen and what songs that's going to come, come through. I have a, a whole lot of songs that I, I can see myself singing. Uh, another song that I wrote really early in my life um, is called Our Hands Are Made For Loving, inspired by my biggest role model, I must say, a living role model, Dalai Lama, actually about, about facing the challenge, facing the fear with forgiveness and to actually remind ourselves, keep reminding ourselves that we are here to, we are here to give. And it's so easy to forget when we, when we watch Facebook, when we hear the news, it's so easy to forget and step into the feeling that somebody out there has destroyed or bad. Um, affected my life in a negative way, which might be the case, but there are no one can ever take your dignity away. We can, we, we don't have to let go into fear and to blaming others. We can always come back and remind ourselves about why am I here? How can I somehow stay in the light? How can I give my contribution in a positive way? So, this song is called Our Hands Are Made for Loving, and he once said, Our hands are made for loving, not for killing. And somehow I just heard these words and this melody coming through as I heard that quote. Easy to sing along with. Our hands are made for loving, our hearts are made for serving, our feet are made for walking with peace inside. Our hands are made for loving. Our hands are made for loving. Our hearts are made for serving. Our feet are made for walking with peace inside our mind. Hands, our heart, our feet, our mind are made to work as one when the four of them unite a new world will come la 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 serving our feet are made for walking with peace inside our minds our hands are made for loving our hearts are made for serving our feet are made for walking with peace inside our mind. I think that's a beautiful reminder to actually see that our hands are made for loving, our hearts are made for serving, our feet are made for walking with peace inside our minds. What happens if we live according to those lines? It's a challenge, but it's worth a try. It's wonderful to try, we can keep trying all through our lives. It's a, it's a, it's a wonderful uh, practice. Um, I'm gonna sing a song now that actually uh, gave the name to this evening, Songs for the People. I didn't know what, what I was gonna call this evening. I felt like I wanna sing 
songs that are more prayer like and that I feel connected to myself, but songs also that I've hardly ever sung to anyone. There's been more than a thousand songs that's been coming through over those last 20 years. So some, some of them I just like to write down and put them into my file here and I have loads of files by my sides here. This songs and I've chosen a couple tonight. This song is called For the People and once again it's a reminder to actually walk this earth humbly and uh, honestly and, um, and um, prayer-like mode. And there's something that I like about that kind of like feeling. It's also like a um, thoughtful song and melody to me. You and I who walk Mother Earth We carry a seed inside To create a better world Only if we try We can make it work Together there must be a way If we use our best thinking Time has gone astray But never stop dreaming Miracles take place If we're ready and willing Together A song for the people A song for the world Those who suffer without reason but never give up A song for the people For those who are hurt We can make a difference And create a better vision For the people We all know that life would be much better If everyone and all Would get food and shelter Let's set out to go To always stand together Forever Is there really a chance To make a lasting change Maybe there's a plan that can't be rearranged We can take a stand and sing till the end of days Forever A song for the people A song for the world Those who suffer without reason but never give up A song for the people For those who are hurt We can make a difference And create a better vision For the people Those who suffer without reason but never give up A song for the people For those who are hurt We can make a difference And create a better vision For the people For the people a song for the people, songs for the people. Here's another song that I somehow really... I liked it when I, when I wrote this song, but I've never sung it so much. But there's, there's some positive feeling about this, this wish that I think we all had. The wish of making things better in the world for others and, and for the people. Uh, we have different ways to, in doing that. Sometimes we, we, we uh, 
we do mistakes. Sometimes we we uh, do terrible mistakes. And uh, but I think there's deep down there there's a wish within us all to actually um, heal and help this world. I remember sitting in my cottage for like three years in my herb and years and just writing songs, walking in the forest, being with myself, uh, and how I like came came. To the conclusion like or the feeling the prayer of feeling like well i wish i could help the world to stop all the fighting and all the wars wars of course the first step i need to do is to stop the fighting and all the wars inside of me but sometimes it's also good to to um, send out that wish and in that way also help myself to come closer to that to that possibility how I wish I was strong And let my voice be heard So the words of this song Could reach out in the world This time is getting close For every human, every soul To open the door To our deepest call I wish that I could tell the world to stop All the fighting and all the wars I wish that I could tell the world to start To live in happiness and love I wish that I could open up my heart To the ones that is in need I wish that I could open up my heart And truly give how I wish that we all would find the depth in our hearts. Let love be our cause, the only thing worth living for. That every act, every want, every deed, every thought derives from the soul. Unifies us all. I wish that I could tell the world to stop all the fighting and all the wars. I wish that I could open up my heart to the ones that is in need. I wish that I could tell the world to start to live in happiness and love. I wish that I could open up my heart and truly give. I wish that I could open up my heart and freely give. And that is sometimes hard to actually see the problem, the challenge that my brother or sister has more so than my own struggles and pain to reach out to others and also sometimes to reach out and seeing that that's also the way to heal my own struggles and pain instead of using my struggles and pain and going against the stream trying to fight that urge because there's a fight within so come how to use that struggle that we have inside to actually reach out say positive words uh, see other people not the best in those things myself always, but just by singing here, writing these songs, reminding myself about these things by um, raising that issue. I'd like to sing another song, uh, also inspired by a Tibetan man. The song is called The Gift. And the meaning I see about this song is that the real gift is to honor other people, to fulfill their dreams, to make room for other people to share their gifts. I think Mundakala Retreat Center to me over those 22 years has been that gift for myself, but also for others to share their beauties, to share their uh, gifts. And while when a gift is being shared, it grows. It doesn't only grow in my heart when I share my gift, it also grows in other people's hearts. So uh, by giving room for that in our own lives, but more so in other people's lives, 
we also automatically give it room for ourselves. And um, this song was written, inspired by a Tibetan man called Sönan, who founded a, um, an association here in Sweden to support Tibetans building schools and libraries. His, his vision was to build one school and library in Tibet. Everyone kept telling him, you know, we Tibetans, we don't have any possibilities over there. We can't do anything in Tibet. So he went to his Swedish friends and they told him the same. But he kept the, the wish, the dream in his, in his heart. And some years ago, I was in Stockholm celebrating that he and this association and the people that were first neglecting or telling not to do this celebrated that 108 schools and libraries were built in Tibet. 108, the whole number in Hinduism and Buddhism. Um, so I think he had that in mind already in the beginning, but not to, to scare people off, he said, let's build one temple, or one school and library. Um, so I think he has truly in many ways showed me uh, what, what gift giving is really about. Giving room for other people's loving gifts and sharings. You are one of a kind. You are another me. In true love is blind. In true. We are one in day. The circle is complete when we give. I want to live. I want to love. I want to give myself to the world. I want to say. I want to serve, I want to give myself to the world. You are one of a kind, you are another me. Love is blind In truth We are one in day The circle is complete When we gave I want to live I want to love I want to give Myself to the world I want to sing I want to sing I want to serve I want to give myself to the world I want to live I want to live I want to love I want to give myself to the world I want to sing I want to serve I want to give myself to the world The circle is complete when we give In a way, that's a pretty hot, big thing to say, I find, to give myself to the world. What happens if my own world is not more important than the world that we all share? What happens if I put, don't put myself at first, but actually try to see the bigger picture and actually try to use my life in the best way possible to not only contribute to my own best, but actually contribute to everyone's best. I found that with, oftentimes with, with Mundukura to create a platform for, for people to meet in retreats, in, in um, 
courses and festivals and conferences that has somehow a bigger meaning. Without alcohol, without drugs, vegetarian food, challenge ourselves, try something new in silence at times, uh, but to actually create a platform where people can grow. I used to play in bars and pubs and street. I was a street musician for many years. Uh, until 25 years ago, I became the best street musician in Sweden. I had a big drum on my back and it was called One Big Strong and Still Stark Band in Swedish. Um, and I controlled this drum on my back with my, my legs and I was like touring around in Europe. And I think maybe when I became uh, the best street musician in Sweden, I was voted to, to that in a competition. I think then I realized that I don't need this. I don't need to go out there to go and play in the bars, make people drink more beers. I don't have to uh, become big or become famous uh, because I'd rather share my music with people that are willing to listen and, are, and uh, can take in the message. So I'd rather sing for 10 people that, that are there than to sing for thousands of people that just want to have a good time and another beer down those road. So in that sense, quality rather than quantity. Uh, yeah, so that's about, for me, that, that is like giving myself to the world somehow to actually use my life in, in, a, in the best possible way in a way. Who knows what that is, but it's actually to ask our, myself, to ask ourselves those questions. How can I be in service? We can always blame it on things. You don't, I don't have the money, I don't have the work, I have children, I have, um, I have disease, I have... But it starts with our thinking. Um, and I don't have money. I haven't had money for those 20 years, but still this place has, has unfolded somehow in magical ways. So somehow I trust and feel that Mundukula will survive the corona in some magical way. This song called Now is the Time, I wrote this song uh, in 98. I was watching uh, the bridge being built between Sweden and Denmark. I was at my parents' place where I grew up, 200 meters from the sea. I was sitting down the ocean, watching those different parts meeting, coming closer to each other. And I knew a guy who was working on the bridge on the Swedish side. He was telling me how much concrete it was needed to build this, what is it, 20 kilometer long bridge or, yeah, this long distance. And it's just amazing what these people can do. And every time I came down, those parts came closer to each other. But once I was sitting down there and uh, this song just kind of flew into my lap. In five minutes, the, as long as it took to write it down, the song was, was kind of like somehow ready. Called Now is the Time. Thinking about all these magical things we can do in life, all these magical things we can build, construct, airplanes, computers, uh, skyscrapers, uh, churches, temples. What if we could build a bridge from one heart to the other? What does it take to build, to make those things that we see in the outer world, to do that inner work, to put as much effort on our own selves or our inner work, to actually grow, learn and contribute. This song is called Now is the Time. We can build bridges, we can build a home, but we're poor and riches can live as one If we can build skyscrapers We can reach the sun And leave greed and hatred To help everyone Now is the time To love our neighbor Now is the time to open the door Now is the time To love one another Now is the time Let the curtain fall If we can build airplanes We can live in peace 
and see through those earthly gains to fulfill our dreams. If we can build palaces, we can make a change and live in pure happiness and love without blame. Now is the time to love our neighbors. Now is the time to open the door. And now is the time to find one another. And now is the time to start to recover. We are connected from land to land. We can make it hand in hand. Let's start right where we are. We can build temples. We can truly love the world and its people for who they truly are. If we can write love songs like this one I sing, hope is not yet gone, let the healing begin. Now is the time to hear the Spirit call. We are the ones we've been waiting for now is the time to follow our heart's voice now is the time come to rejoice because we can build bridges from heart to heart can make a difference and now's the time to start when i wrote this song it felt like it was one of those we are the world you know earth anthems songs that was too big for myself to sing so i gathered like um seven eight people good singers in Sweden. And we sang this one line together or one verse together. And I had like a vision, Sweden's answer to We Are The World. And interestingly enough, uh, it was voted the best Swedish song ever, according to a magazine called City. That was, was one of the bigger magazines in Sweden at the time. Um, in 2007, I think. And I, I found that with many of my projects, that when I set out an aim, well, I want this project to be this or that, uh, that it actually turns out to be something. And that's not the main thing. I mean, it's not about the more listeners you have or the more you reach out, the better things are. But I think that sometimes it's good to put the aim to something that somehow things thing seems unseemingly unreachable. But actually, how could I? had that vision. Well, that vision and that song was given to me. So it's also a responsibility to, to take your dreams the whole way through. We all have dreams, we all have visions, but oftentimes we start to thinking negative too early. We listen to the to the to the cri to the critic inside us and we never do those things. But to actually step out and say, I have a vision, I want something. I usually say that with Mundipula that the biggest step was the first step we, we took. In Sweden, it sounds like första steget, the största steget. The biggest step was the biggest step, most important step. The first music festival we arranged here was small uh, uh, flyers that we painted ourselves and it said, little music festival in Mundekulla. And maybe there was like 30, 40 people coming. But I still say that this was the most important event that ever took and ever will take place in Mundukula because without it the rest wouldn't come and now after that we've done like many hundreds of events here uh, that have been far bigger 
far greater in a way. Uh, but it's not so hard when the ball is in motion. So sometimes we actually start up our projects in a small scale or let them have, get the wings. Another project that I did this, this, um, this spring, I don't have the lyrics here, so I'll, ha I'll have to sing that next time. But it's called Honoring Our Mother Earth that I made uh, inspired by Greta Thunberg and her incredible act of, of goodness, I say, uh, standing up for climate change and, and doing it in the way she's doing it with, with such a clever mind. And also to, to, sh to, to be from being the kid who doesn't go to school, who, who doesn't like her situation, who, who uh, are afraid of so many things, to actually start acting upon things, sitting inside of the Swedish government and, and uh, demonstrate every Friday. And then um, doing that over and over again becomes like a massive big thing. And then with that, she also grows and matures as a person. Um, so to actually using our challenge, we're using our, 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 our um, s s the hardships in our lives, our sorrows, our pains, for something constructive. And in that way also dealing with the pain and the, the challenging things in our lives. So um, I think that's, uh, that's, a, that's a big, big message that she's bringing us. And I wrote this song called um, Honoring a Mother Earth. And I had the same vision this spring when Corona hit us. I want to get like 10 people from different, different countries to sing this song. And I started the project and we ended up being 100 people from 25 different countries singing on this song. And it was released on the World uh, Environment Day on the 6th of June. And it was starting off the UN live stream conference that went on for 13, 14 hours. And this song started the whole thing, spread out in the world. And I can imagine that when I started it, but I had a high vision so to actually keep our visions alive and start acting according to it instead of using our frustration towards things, use it for things. I think that's, that's been my whole message in a way with, with, uh, with my life and my, and my different life. Not to say that I'm the best at this, but I really think that there's, there's ways to deal with, with struggles and pains. And sometimes the way is to not do anything and just relax or go into our hermit in, our si in, in, in ourselves. And that's what I did when I wrote many of these songs. And that's what I will do in this winter too. Uh, this song is called Song of Workshop. It's, it's worship. It says number five on it. I've, I've written when I wrote them, what date they are, until thousand songs now. But number five, this was very like 96, 95, when I was living in um, temples uh, in America. Hindu temples. I was traveling around for eight months different, living in different Hindu temples. And I wrote this song and um, it has meant a lot to me, but I've never sung it really before. So uh, let me do it for one of the first times. This is also a worship, a prayer for the people, for myself, for the world. They say it's time to worship. So I raise my hands to the sky I look for an answer to my life I find it deep inside My life has just begun With so many songs yet unsung Time has come to me finally to welcome the spirit in me hallelujah 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 bodhisattva 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 I had found a way where love and peace is to stay. I need to surrender to myself, let the God in my heart gather way. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. 
Haleluya, 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 haleluya. It's interesting how this was kind of my fifth song I wrote and how I had that quote. My life has just begun with so many songs yet unsung. And during my first hermit year, I wrote more than 200 songs. And I felt like those songs were babies. There was messages to me to give me the strength and courage to actually step out there and say, I have a dream. I want to create something. I want to create this retreat center together with my father and Anne, of course. But I want to create, I may want to make this first music festival that we made here. It's a challenge to actually step out and say, I want something because people will be criticize you. People's ego will criticize you. And there was one man, I don't know him, I never met him, but I heard about him. He lived 2000 years ago and he said, ask and it will be given. But he also said, uh, don't judge and you, don't, you won't be judged. And that's a really good message to actually have in hand in line because people have judged me, I'm sure, starting something like this or whatever I'm doing or sitting here singing these songs. People probably judge me in this very moment. But as long as I judge people, people will judge me. And I judge people. I judge situation because, situations because um, I am not my thoughts, but um, there, I due to the circumstances or to my history or to past experiences, I will judge things um, and people will judge me. But judging is not that bad. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't hurt if you don't let it hurt you. No one can take your dignity away. So it's also about uh, letting think people that judge you. Let, being uh, kind to yourself, it's okay to judge, but we don't need to act upon it. We can look at our judgmental thoughts and see, okay, how can I change that thought for the better? Why do I judge this situation? Can I, what can I learn from this? Um, so I think that's a good reminder for me when I feel that I am kind of small or lost or so. Uh, there's many different songs from many different projects that I like to share. I have another 20 minutes or so to, for this little concert. I think I will have to do another Songs for the People concert. Um, but I'd like to share some different songs for different projects. And one project that I heard about 2002 uh, is that the, the Pope invited 12 different traditions uh, uh, to share their a prayer from their own tradition at an event in Assisi, uh, San Francis, place of origin. Um, so he invited a representative from 12 different religions and traditions to share, uh, uh, to share a prayer from their tradition. In, in 1986 this was and also he said that we should take away the, the feminine but more often the masculine uh, aspect in the prayer and make it more neutral so for example instead of the son of man um, they talk about the children of God um, so to find different ways that actually we, we find other ways so the masculine is not uh, always the the, the the focus in that sense. Um, and then I heard about this project and I felt like I need to put music to those prayers. I think it took us to 2011 before I did that and then we put together a program that we've been performing in, in churches together with two friends, Jan Eric and Lars Magnus, about 30 or even 40 times the last 10 years. Uh, and the one prayer is the Native American prayer and I really, really like that because it's also a prayer for the earth. It's a prayer for us to be kind. And just by singing this and being together in this is a helpful way to actually uh, develop the kindness within. So this is one of, the, one of those 20, 12 prayers. Messengers of the four winds, I raise my pipe to you and to our mother who provides for your children. 
give us the wisdom and help us to respect and love one another. Help us to be kind, grow with peace in mind. Help us to be kind, grow with peace in mind. Oh, great spirit of our ancestors, I raise my pipe to you. To the messengers of the four winds, I raise my pipe to you. And to our Mother Earth, who provides for your children, give us the wisdom and help us to respect and love one another. I just love, love singing this song and when we do those concerts mainly in churches to sing those messages from all the different world religions and traditions and to see that there's a common message there's a common message to us all to be kind and somehow we have misinterpreted that or we have maybe thought that showing kindness is to find our group of people and then we're kind to those ones but they are dangerous they are different we don't want them around but kindness is actually goes beyond religion tradition or boundaries kindness if true kindness should there should be true kindness it has to be beyond uh, the ego beyond the the, the subject um, so um, that's another program that could be a good message for for those Munduka live sessions in the future. Another project that I've, I've, I've made songs for together with a friend called Puppies from West Africa is when I went to Senegal four winters, 2007, 8, 9, 10, I think, and wrote many songs. This song I actually, uh, yeah, I wrote it with, with Puppies, but I remember speaking to another friend of mine down there and he was, we were talking for an afternoon. He was so clever. So many people are so bright and so insightful down there. They live in one of the poorest countries in the world. Uh, but they have happiness. They have community. They have each other. There's not as much as, as uh, self-destruction, I'd say, as it is in the Western world. Uh, and this one guy said after this afternoon, Wow, you are white and I am black. You come from a Christian tradition, I come from a Muslim tradition. You come from a rich country, I come from a poor country, yet we are so alike. And I really like that kind of idea, that kind of uh, uh, feeling. And I also think that kindness must include not only our own country, but actually the world. The, the poorer people get in this world, the more diversity in the sense of very many poor and more and more rich people. It will fall back on all of us. So it really doesn't work to create a world where some are poor and some are rich. We have to balance things out. Maybe Corona helps out with us, maybe climate crisis, crisis helps out with us if we can't do it on our own. Uh, but unfortunately it seems like those poor people suffer even more even due to those circumstances. Um, Africa is the place of origin for for humanity, the eldest uh, remains from human are found in Ethiopia, two millions old, Lucy, a woman, the bones of a woman, two million old, that can really show um, signs of, of human bones. So, probably, most probably, according to what many science, 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 what science says, is that uh, we were born in Africa and then we, as when we invited the fire, we walked north, south, east, west, and all different directions. And we turned pale when we lived in the northern uh, countries for a long time, over, over 
Uh, but there's, a, there's a, I think there's, a, there's something beauty about honoring our motherland, our mother Africa, honoring our mother, our mother earth. That's probably one of the most important things I think for us people to do today is honoring our mother earth. Uh, but this song I wrote with that thought in mind. I have one thing to say. I think I'm going to hear I have one thing to say, but it's a crying shame that we can't seem to change the situation that we face. We are one family, one humanity, living in different countries and sharing the same dream. Mama Africa, a seca jola. Mama Africa, a seca mandi. Mama Africa, a seca tuba. Mama Africa, a seca bambara. The flower needs its leaves. The root supports the tree. The river becomes the sea. Unity we need. And if we stand together through any kind of weather, things can only get better. We need it more than ever. Mama Africa, a seca jola. Mama Africa, a seca manding. Mama Africa, a seca tuba. Mama Africa, a seca bambara. Hey, Mama Africa. Hey, Mama Africa. Hey, Mama Africa. Yeah, it was a short version of the song called Mama Africa. Mama Africa, our motherland. Be humbled. Uh, I think this song uh, called Maybe Now uh, is a reminder. Uh, I also wrote this during my, during my hermit years. I, rem I remember when I wrote this song, I, I, I was asked to take care of some friend's house, not so, so far from Mundukula here, where I lived in this cottage. Um, they were going away on a holiday, I think, down to Germany uh, for a week. Uh, and I was going to take care of their horse and their um, sheep and their cats and, and their house. So I came there and I decided that I should not bring my guitar because I'd written so many songs and I was kind of like tired about writing songs over that. I remember one day at that time I wrote like 10 songs in one day. And I shouldn't say that I fulfilled it, but I brought down the vision, put down the words and I kind of like put it aside. And, then, um, and I came out, oh, I'm not going to play music. I'm just going to go out in the woods and just be, be silent and so but they had a guitar on the second floor, of course. And I couldn't stop from playing that guitar. And I think during that week, and I wrote another 10 songs. And this was one of the songs that I wrote called Maybe Now. And there's something beautiful I like about that vision that maybe now is the time. We can easily say that, no, you know, the world is worse and everything just in crisis and now uh, everything will just go bad. But maybe. This is when the opportunity is as biggest. That's how I try to see Mundukula. We are so challenged, so out of the question. We don't, have, we don't have any chance of surviving in one way, but in other ways, there's so many possibilities. If we rest, if we look deeper, if we like really step closer to the truth. So maybe now is the time. When I hear the winds of freedom I listen carefully They speak of ancient wisdom That soon will be revealed The wind is telling me That we can still be free Maybe now, 
The tide will change, maybe now We'll live up again, maybe now We rearrange, maybe now We love again When I hear the raindrops falling Hear them call my name This is the final calling Soon there'll be a change But people are suffering Due to a long lost dream But I won't stop to believe One day we'll be free Maybe now the tide will change Maybe now we'll live up again Maybe now we'll rearrange Maybe now we'll love again Maybe now we can change Maybe now we'll live again Maybe now we rearrange Maybe now we love again Maybe now we take a stand Maybe now we stand up for brother man Maybe now we join hands Maybe now every woman My battery went out, but we're still recording. Cool. Well, we have time for another song then. This is what happens when you go live, I guess. When you go live, things happen that uh, you don't pretend. But that's cool. Uh, I'm still alive. Um, so I think I'm going to do the final song. Thank you very much for listening tonight. Um, and um, uh, I feel like um, it's really be beautiful to sit and sing these songs. It's really a good reminder for me also to to um, to share this message and to remind myself about this. Uh, I have a little switch number for those sweets of you who would like to share, uh, give a little contribution. There's also in the text below for internationals if you want to. Give a little contribution to Mundicula, which is uh, the reason, in a way, why we started doing these Mundicula live sessions. Um, it's nice that the battery came back and I got to see the last song, because somehow this is the most important song for me in this, at this very moment. Because today is my girlfriend's birthday. Uh, and I like to sing her a song also related to these prayers, these hymns, these um, songs for the people and in this scenario for a certain person. I do believe though that when a good relationship exists between a man and a woman, it really contributes to other people as well. Uh, so it's a beautiful way of actually growing through relationships. So this is a song. This love is strong it will go through the gates of heaven this love is one like the love in the garden of eden this love is rare It's for us to share This love will reach Everyone who seeks True love True love This love brings strength and encouragement 
to live This love brings peace And the willingness to give This love is hell It's for all to share This love will reach Everyone who seek True love True love This love won't hold us back this love will spread across the land oh, This love is here It's for all to share This love will reach Everyone Okay, that's all for this time. So every last Sunday at 8 till 9 o'clock, uh, we send Mundaka live from Mundaka's Facebook page and YouTube page. Uh, thanks for listening. Welcome back on the 27th of December. I think we're going to sing some more Mundaka songs then because that really fits well with the Christmas and the New Year's Eve and those times to come together for music and singing. And that time, I think I will bring along Anne, who will sing some some uh, Mundukla songs that you really can sing along to. So for those of you who have been here before, you will definitely recognize many of those songs. So thanks for listening. If you want, give a contribution. Don't forget that we are still around. We will be back after Corona, stronger than ever. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to run our New Year's retreats and our events around New Year's. Otherwise, we'll be back in April. Great. And by the way, the other day, Mundukula Cooks, the, the, the cookbook that Stephanie has written for Mundukula that was released this spring, has been uh, qualified as the best uh, Swedish cookbook. And it's now part of a big competition worldwide and can it be the best cookbook, vegetarian cookbook in the world of the year. Uh, read more about that on our homepage. It's beautiful. I was so surprised and happy when I saw that. But I really, I really felt the same way as I've been talking in this program. I felt when I saw that book and the world, the work she put in it. This can reach far because it's lovely. Uh, and uh, yeah, so read more about that on mundukulacooks.com or mundukulase. But but why not? Buy one of those books for as a Christmas gift. It's the best gift you can have. I still, I think there are still some available, but they will be sold out soon. I think first. So thanks for listening. Thanks for being who you are, and welcome back to Mundukula. Welcome back to.